Hi, I'm Phil Steele. One question that comes up all the time from my Lightroom students is, how do you find missing photos or missing folders in Lightroom? Maybe you got the question mark icon on a folder that indicates that it's missing, or maybe you got the exclamation mark on a photo, or maybe you got this written warning that your photo is offline or missing. So in this video, we're going to look at what causes this problem in the first place so you can avoid it in the future, and then we'll look at how you can get Lightroom to automatically refind and reconnect to your missing photos. All right, the question of missing photos probably comes up more often than any other Lightroom question that I get. And even though I cover this in my complete Lightroom course, there's over 30 videos in that course and people don't know exactly which video to look in for the answer. So I thought it would be worth making a free, in-depth video just on this topic. So let's look at how you got into this trouble in the first place. Usually what happened is you either moved or renamed some photos behind Lightroom's back. What I mean by that is after you've imported a set of photos into Lightroom, you should only move or rename those photos from within Lightroom. You should not go out and use your computer's file system to move or rename the photos because then Lightroom won't be able to find them anymore. It doesn't know that you're doing this behind its back, so it gets confused. So if you want to move photos, you should just do it here in the left panel of Lightroom. For example, I'm going to take this photo of a boat and I'm going to drag it to a different folder. I'm going to drag it to this folder called Apartments. Now it probably doesn't belong there, but just to illustrate. And when I release, you can see Lightroom warns me. It says you're moving a file on the disk. It's letting me know this is not just some virtual move inside of Lightroom. I'm actually moving the file out there on my computer's hard disk from one folder to another. And if I say move, well, then it does it. You can see it disappeared from here. And if I look in the Apartments folder, there it is. Now, I don't really want it there, so I'm just going to move it back by dragging it. I'm going to drag it back to the Boats folder. And I'm going to say, yep, move it. And there it is. It's back. Now, likewise, if you want to move an entire folder of photos, you can do that from within Lightroom too. For example, let's say the Boats folder didn't really belong in October where it is. Maybe it belonged in September. So I'm going to click on the folder and I'm going to drag it up to my September folder and I'm just going to release it there. And you can see once again Lightroom is warning me, you're moving files on the disk. This is a real move out there on your computer's file system. It just wants to confirm that that's what I want to do. I'll say, yep, move it. And you can see now the entire Boats folder is now in my September instead of my October folder. And once again, as before, since I don't really want it there, I'm just going to move it back by clicking on it. And I'm going to drag it back to October, put it there. I'm going to say yes. And now it's back where it started. Now, similarly, if I wanted to rename a photo or a series of photos, if I went out and did that in my computer's file system, then Lightroom would get confused. But if I do it within Lightroom, then Lightroom knows the change took place. So let's say I wanted to rename this photo with a boat. I have the photo selected. I can go to the Library menu and pick Rename Photo. And then I can just type the new name in right here. And if I had selected a whole series of photos, I could use this custom file naming template and rename all of them all at once in one operation. As long as you do these things from within Lightroom, then it doesn't get confused. But let's see what would happen if I did these operations using my computer's file system instead. So for example, I'm going to drag the folder called Boats from October over into September using my computer's file system. Now let's go see what this looks like in Lightroom. Now we can see the folder here in the left panel of Lightroom has the question mark because Lightroom can't find the folder anymore. And you can see each individual photo in here has the exclamation mark indicating that the photo is missing. And if I wanted to use the photo, for example, to export it, I would get a warning that I'm unable to because the source file is offline or missing. So how do you get out of this position? How do you repair things when Lightroom has lost track of your photos? Well, fortunately, Lightroom is designed to help you easily refine and reconnect to your missing photos or folders. Let's take the example of a folder first. 
If I right click here on the folder that has the question mark on it, you'll see on the right click menu an item called Find Missing Folder. So this brings up my computer's file system, and now all I have to do is go find the folder that Lightroom has lost track of. I know it's in here. Select that folder, and when I choose it, we can come back to Lightroom and we can see now Lightroom has recovered it. It's got it in its proper place, and the photos no longer have the missing exclamation mark. The folder no longer has the question mark, and everything is good and ready to go. But now let's see, instead of a whole folder, what if I was just trying to locate a missing photo? Now, to get back to a condition where I have something missing, I'm going to use my computer's file system to move this folder called Boats back into October, where it really belongs in the first place. And now we can see here in Lightroom that my folder called Boats once again has the question mark on it, and all of the individual photos have the exclamation mark because they're missing. So to find a missing photo, all I have to do is click on the little exclamation mark. And when I do, you can see Lightroom gives me the opportunity to locate the missing photo. So I'm going to click on Locate, and it brings up my computer file system to find the photo. But here's the really cool part. You see this checkbox here that says Find Nearby Missing Photos. Well, frequently, if you have one missing photo, you might have a lot of missing photos. So this tells Lightroom to go ahead and search in the vicinity and see if it can match up and find any other missing photos in this area. So let me go to the folder, find the photo that it wants, and I'll pick Select. So now Lightroom is saying there are no photos in the selected folder because the folder I have selected is the bad folder, the one in the wrong location. But if I look down in the right location, I'll click on that folder, we can see there the photos are. And what Lightroom did, it didn't just find the photo that I selected, it found all the other missing ones in that area because I had that little checkbox mark that said find nearby missing photos. So it took care of all of them at once. And that's pretty clever. Now, this old folder that's sitting here empty now, all I have to do is right-click on that, and I'll just say Remove. All right, that's it. And if you'd like to learn more about Lightroom, I have an entire online course called Lightroom Made Easy, which you can find at my website at steeltraining.com. I hope you found this helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.